So faster than light phenomena is all around us. So you can take a look at this wall where I have a laser pointer. And if you see when I move my hand, that laser spot basically moves at the same speed as my hand. It's not that impressive. But if I take a couple steps back and I wave my hand again, magically that laser spot seems to be moving way faster. So we all know that the speed of light in a vacuum, that is this speed, acts almost like a universal limit. No information can be transmitted faster than the speed of light, and certainly nothing with mass can travel faster than it. But astronomers have been observing really strange signals that seem to travel faster than light since the early 1900s. In 1901, a clergyman from Edinburgh observed a new point of light in the Perseus constellation. And when the astronomers at Greenwich Observatory rushed to see it, they also discovered a new phenomenon known as a light echo. Shock waves radiating from the star that we now know is a white dwarf, or nova, these shells of light seem to be traveling faster than what physicists would allow. If you were to now imagine if I were to shine a super powerful laser at the moon, maybe, well, my laser spot would just seem to flicker on the moon's surface from one end to the other impossibly fast, maybe even faster than the speed of light. So how is that possible? Well, the laser spot from my little laser pointer here isn't really a real object. We need to remember that what's really moving is the photons from the torch to the screen. And it's just a little trick of timing from how the photons hit that screen that makes it look like a continuous dot is moving from one end of the screen to the other. So in the case of the light echo, the Nova's flash is just hitting different parts of the gas cloud at different angles. To us on Earth, the illuminated arcs seem to leap outward faster than the speed of light, but it's no different from the laser pointer. Remember, nothing physical is actually moving. It's just a trick of geometry and timing. Note that the same principle also applies to shadows. And that's because what's actually moving aren't these cute little bunnies that you see on the screen, but the photons that travel from the torch to the screen. So if I were to move my fingers a little bit closer to the torch, it looks like our bunnies are suddenly moving way faster. You've definitely seen these superluminal illusions around you. They can be really hard to spot when they're in space because, well, obviously they move quite quickly. And our biggest telescopes usually scan a patch of sky once before moving on. They might only return after a couple of weeks, maybe months later, if at all. But with observatories like Vera C. Rubin, which scan the night sky every three days, astronomers might just start picking up on more and more of these fast-moving signals. So what could they see? Well, researchers think that could be a huge class of exotic superluminal illusions. Illusions that can cause astronomers to see double of a signal, or even see the same signal playing backwards. But each effect is going to be different. So what could these new illusions teach us? 